It's, there's a lot of great energy in the room today. I mean, it's um, we're dealing with a couple of legends here. We're dealing with the Apollo Theater. We're dealing with Robert Robert De Niro. We're dealing with Tribeca. It's all it's all a wonderful thing. I think I think that this place that has fostered so much talent and displayed so much talent is a really fitting place to show this film tonight. But also to how shall I put it? Um, in a way, sponsor its younger brother. You know, Tribeca does the same thing. It, it, it's, it sponsors, it fosters, it develops talent the way that the Apollo has for for so many years. Yeah. You know, it's the Apollo, and the Apollo means a great deal to me. It, it, you know, it's, it's in my heart. I grew up here, so you know, it always is. It always is. I, I come back and play it now because I want I, I want to always play it because I think the Apollo should always be standing. It's, the, it's the, the origin almost of black entertainment, you know, uh, people like Ella Fitzgerald and Billy Eckstein, Count Basie, people like that started here at the Apollo Theater. So the first time I ever played here was with the Miracles on the Ray Charles show. So the Apollo is like my heart. Well, it's more than music because the film is about the, the struggle of black people in America. And Harlem is like the, the nucleus of, of black America. And the we use music and art to lift ourselves out of oppression. And so the journey of 85 years of history is really the journey of black, black Africans in America. Uh, and it's just a, it's a powerful and poignant story. So it's just, you know, Tenehasi Coates says in the film that our music is so beautiful that even those with their boot on your neck can't help but sing along. I mean, it's such a long history, you know, for the black community, of course. It's, it's, it's important, I think, to, to share that history so that, you know, when people become, can be made curious about something and then they can want to make discoveries about it on their own. You know, I think that'll be important for continuing the legacy of this great place. It's really exciting and it's wonderful there that this institution still remains and still strong, has such a rich history, and that we're able to present it here. That's, uh, you know, akin to giving roses while yet we can smell them. It's overwhelming, exciting, and you know, this is such an incredible New York story, the story of the Apollo, and Tribeca is about New York story and the power of New York. That's what Rebecca was founded on. And so, where else would you do this except for right here? Yeah, Tribeca starting downtown, but you know, so many years ago. But really embracing the spirit of the the city and in its diverseness, in its culture, in its richness. Paul is a cultural institution, and it's great to be able to celebrate one cultural institution from another. And they've been here for such a long time. They're part of a community. Because of what Bob and Jane did, their idea when they began this, which was to that artistic voices can make change, can revitalize a community, can bring a community together. And that's what we try to do each year, to celebrate diverse voices, to have points of view that have never been seen before, to change the, and encourage the change of narrator, so the narrative is different. And, you know, it's thrilling to be a part of it. Uh, it was, you know, you work so hard on these films, and you slave away, and you're like in the, you know, you're sort of in a little vacuum. And when it's done, you're like, wow, has anyone, is anyone going to see this? And how is it going to get out into the world? And when um, I think uh, Paula Weinstein called me and said, oh, we'd love to have it for opening night, I, I, I was just overwhelmed. And I was overwhelmed with emotion. I was excited because it's just, 
means so much to be here at the Apollo. I mean, it, this is where I would want to premiere the film, at the actual venue, the place. So. I feel really excited. We've been waiting and hearing about this documentary for a number of years, so to finally be here and on our opening night is just thrilling. We really had been talking to Janelle, who's the head of the Apollo, and saying, when is it going to be ready? Who's making it? So we, we were able to make this happen. We're thrilled.